Hey guys, what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just received one of these Rebtech RX 478 gigabyte cards. And the weirdest thing I saw, first thing when I was looking at it, I was like, where is the PCIe to plug in like a riser or uh, plug it into a riserless motherboard like this? or you know like a typical ATX motherboard like where the heck am I gonna plug this in and I realized after looking at it it only has a USB as an output okay you guys can see right there right and it has two six pins for power and you know I was thinking like oh is this a new thing and it's not I was just searching on YouTube and I saw Bits be Trippin our crypto mining OG lord and savior of the crypto mining community he was actually, I think, the first guy to actually test one of these out. He did a really long live stream, which are just amazing. You guys should definitely go watch him. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him as well. I don't know why I have more subscribers than him, but he needs more guys. Link down below, please go subscribe to him. As well, I just saw another video. Mr. Rabid Mining has also done a review of this RX 478 gigabyte. And so, yeah, I'm gonna give this guy a try. There's three things we're gonna do today. We're gonna try this on a Rebtech motherboard, which we are gonna put on the one that's over here. You guys know this is my like GPU hanger chum change XD the guy who sent me the GPU hanger kit here I'm gonna try to hang the RX 478 gigabyte here and add it to this Reptech board uh, right now we have four RTX 3070s and at the same time we are also gonna add a few more RTX 3070s here I just received from a local store two Zotac hollow black edition RTX 3070s and yeah, we're gonna add like one initially plus the 470 and then uh, at the end of the video I'm gonna add the other one and another test that I want to do with this is also put it in this mine box 12 So you guys are gonna ask red panda How are you going to do that if it doesn't have a PCIe and my thought process is I'm gonna try getting a GPU risers PCIe 1 adapter all right just like this and I'm gonna simply put it into the motherboard uh, like so okay, and then I'm gonna get a USB cable just a standard USB cable and plug it into From there into the Rebtech. Okay, so I want to see if that will work And of course my thought process is is because Rebtech boards uh, these motherboards here They have eight USB all right, so I'm gonna see if that works and if it doesn't well then uh, it was worth a try Okay guys, so let me get started. Let me try the RX478 gigabyte Rebtech onto this rig over here. Okay, so you guys will see it on here in three, two, one. Okay, well this is not the 478 gig. This is the 3070 Zotac Hollow Black. This thing looks pretty sick. But you guys can see here, here is the Rebtech 470 and I was not able to add it on the chump change hanger because this is actually meant for GPUs. Well, I mean, this is a GPU, but it has a different way to add the bracket, okay? This 470 doesn't have the two little uh, little notches there like, uh, like a normal one would. It goes into the hanger like that, okay? Look at that. So this 478 gig doesn't have those two same style like IO bracket. These are like I guess for some other application, I was actually thinking of putting this in a server case, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, we can talk about that later. But anyways, you guys can see here, the USB is plugged in into the Rebtech along with two six pin power. And we are using a Rebtech 1600 watt power supply. And to be mindful for you all, if you guys are thinking of buying this power supply from Rebtech, it only has six pins for power. Okay, it doesn't have any eight pins. All right, so just be mindful of that I think this power supply is great for uh, their 478 gigabyte cards like this But not for regular like GPUs like this because you also have to use splitters uh, Six pin to dual eight pin and if you are comfortable again If you are comfortable with undervolting overclocking all that kind of stuff and you trust Hive OS which we are using Hive OS to undervolt your cards and not go full bore on like a single strand. I trust Hive OS. I've been using it like this in this kind of configuration for a while now and haven't had any issues. But yeah, I have a six pin to dual eight pin 
and I did verify this strand is 16 gauge. Okay, 16 gauge cabling going into the connector here and from the power supply, so that is good. Okay guys, anyways, let me turn this on. I just have to plug in the power. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Okay, yeah, all right. It looks like it just turned on and look at this Zotac hollow black. Just crazy. Let me go to the other side here. Definitely, definitely flexing a little bit here. But anyways, there it is, guys. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can see this in Hive OS along with the uh, 478 gig Reptech. Give me one sec. Okay, there you guys go. We got five 370s and one RX 470. Looks like it says power color. Eight gigabytes of RAM, all right? Doesn't say Reptech, but it's a power color one, I guess. So. You guys can see here, I did have an issue, uh, it just booted up. So initially I had uh, mining with T-Rex Miner on these 3070s. Obviously T-Rex Miner doesn't support AMD cards. We have to change the flight sheet, so let me do that real quick. Okay, there we go. All the GPUs are going and the RevTech is now mining about 29.9 mega hash. Pretty much 30 mega hash. And there you guys go, look at that. We're getting 61 on all the 3070s and we're getting 30 on this RX 470 eight gigabyte card utilizing about 82 watts it says in the software. And these are my overclocks. I could probably do a lot better on this overclock but I have to fine tune it, I need a lot more time. But it looks like it is working guys. I'm happy about this little tiny RX 470 that it doesn't require like one of those mining risers all right from like GP risers or something so look at that I have it sitting on two wooden blocks right now don't mind that so it looks like it's working and yeah we verified it does work on the RevTech board along with Nvidia GPUs so now I want to let's shut this thing down all right we're gonna take out the USB take out the two six pins and now I want to try it in this Mindbox 12 and uh, try this method here. If I can get this to uh, just connect to Hive OS, all right, and uh, through the USB cable, and I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna rest that 470, but I'll figure it out in a sec. But you guys will see here in three, two, one. Okay, I got it in, and it's just resting on the GPURisers.com box for now, for now. All right, let's turn this thing on and see if it works. Here we go. Three, two, one. Always takes a little bit. There we go. Yeah, okay. So we will see if this Mindbox 12 with the 12 PCIe or riserless motherboard, if it will show up in Hive OS, guys. Give me one sec. Yes, it showed up. Look at that. It's already starting to mine on LOL Miner, the latest version. And these are my overclocks and undervolts, you guys can see. And so let's see, in Shell in a Box, it is just going right now. And uh, oh, I think it crashed. Yeah, I think it crashed. I think it's my overclocks. Let me play around a little bit. Yeah, we're getting an open CL error. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, it's working now. I had to lower the memory overclock and uh, up the power a bit more as uh, it was definitely giving me a lot of errors. So now it's working in the latest version of LOL Miner. All right, 29.3 mega hash. Okay, I'll show you guys in Hive OS. Yeah, 29.4. You guys can see the temperatures there, 66 degrees Celsius, about 86 watts in the software. And there are the overclocks that I did here. Very similar as I did on that rig over there. Okay, well, the main test of this was to see if it will work with, you know, a rise of this motherboard in with the PCIe adapter, with the USB cable going into the RevTech. And it looks like that worked. I did have another idea that I wanted to try, and it is this M.2 to PCIe X1 adapter. And then I'll have a mining riser PCIe X1 to USB adapter into that. So it's like adapter into adapter into adapter. It's just like, uh, but you know what? I, I'm pretty sure it will probably work as it's the same idea having PCIe uh, on the motherboard. And so, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try this, but okay. Anyways, guys, that's it. This is a cool little RX 470 eight gigabyte card. And RevTech also told me that they do not have these in stock right now. But anyways, guys, this was an interesting GPU that I thought I would make a video about. Ooh.
Ooh, this GPU is actually toasty. Ew, that is hot. That is definitely hot. Okay, I gotta hold it by its sides. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, the back plate is definitely hot. Okay, guys, I wanted just to show you a like a, a server case like this. And I was thinking if eventually, if I could get my hands on, you know, maybe another seven more of these, if I could get this RevTech board to fit in that server case. Okay, that would be pretty sick. What do you guys think? This would just be, you know, this is all the whole motherboard, processor, RAM, hard drive, everything, right? And then I just need to simply add the USBs out into the GPUs over here, okay? And so if I do like that, right, and I had a whole bunch of these, you know, RevTech 478 gigabytes, which obviously there's none right now, so I don't even know why I'm entertaining this idea, but just a fun thought here so you guys can see. And another thing I thought was also awesome for these GPUs would, that would be in a server case is because the fins are horizontal. So these GPUs would be just perfect for server cases because of the airflow would be able to go through the GPU fins, all right, just like that to cool the GPU. So, you know, another thing I just realized is, you know, when I recommend buying this, it would have to depend how much these cost. And, you know, it's kind of like the same idea with NVIDIA. You know, they, they created, you guys probably saw that video recently, the Gigabyte 30HX, and I recommended not to buy that because the price of that GPU is literally more than what you could buy a regular 1660 Super for. Okay, they literally go for more than an AIB branded 1660 Super. So, you know, depending on how much RevTech sells these for, which I know they don't sell these right now, like I said, they don't have them in stock. So, you know, it's just, it just depends, right? It just depends how much these are, but these are now, I think, three or four years old, five years old generation. So, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna be buying these anyway, as uh, there's 30 series cards or, you know, the 16 series cards out right now. Yeah, so awesome stuff. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about this RevTech 478 gigabyte card. I mean, it's just like, I guess, a typical RX Polaris GPU that can get 30 mega hash around there. And uh, yeah, I guess I just have to fine tune it a little bit more to get better hash rates. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts about the USB and the two six pins. Definitely an older school GPU, but hey, whatever works, right? Good for mining. Okay guys, that's it for this video, and I'm just gonna end off with adding this GPU to the other RevTech build here. Okay guys, so I'll be right back. There we go, I got the other Zotac hollow block on the frameless mining rig, okay? So yeah, what I mean by frameless, you guys can see, thanks to Chump Change yet again for sending me this six pack of hangers to hang my GPUs on my Costco like wire rack, all right? This is a very similar to like Amazon basic shelves. All right, I'll have them linked down below. I also have a link down to Chump Change. You guys go subscribe to him. And if you guys wanna buy his hanger kit, go to his Discord and he has a channel there with all the information on how to uh, do that. So guys, look at this. This Zotac Amp Black Edition is pretty sick. Let me go over here. Hollow Black. Interesting, interesting Zotac. I actually do have a uh, Twin Edge 3070 right here, so it doesn't have as much RGB as uh, these Hollow Black editions. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.